multiple sources of income or multiple streams of income. That's what many people who start a business online are looking for. But how you do it, how you set it up could be very, very interesting. You have many people who are trying to concurrently set up all of their multiple streams of income. I'll give you an example. Someone's doing a blog, then they're doing YouTube, then maybe a Facebook group, maybe a mastermind group, then online courses. Now, let me walk you through what I did before I started adding additional sources of income. It's possible, but the way that you do it will be pivotal to your level of success if you're successful doing it. Can you make money online? Yes. Can you make a lot of money online? Yes. How you do it is very important. Who you are is very important. The template, the marketplace, there, there are so many things that come into play on how you can make money and you can sub these multiple streams of income. So in just a second, I'm going to jump into that and a lot more. As you're putting together your multiple streams of income, the first thing you have to do is go ahead and knock down your first stream. Do nothing else, nothing, until you have your first stream knocked down. When I started this journey in 2009, I wrote a book, and literally for two and a half years, I did nothing else but storage auction related stuff. Storage auction book, storage auction channel, storage auction content, storage auction training. That was it for two and a half years before I jumped into something else. And there's a reason that you have to focus like that because the minute that you start pivoting, you will lose people. This episode of the Hustlers Kung Fu Show was brought to you by Audible. You can take your choice of 180,000 books with a free trial offer from Audible. Do this. Go below the video, hit that first link, and take advantage of the offer. Also, I'm going to recommend that you get this book by It's Human to Sell by Daniel Pink. And to make the offer even sweeter for you, if you get the Audible deal, which is free, I'll give you a free ebook or free audiobook from my personal bookstore. How sweet is that? Just follow those simple directions below and let's get to the video. Now this is the beauty of sticking with one thing. Once you build a foundation, you're going to learn a lot. I started off with a blog. The blog was not working, which is what led me to YouTube. Then YouTube worked extremely well. And I stayed with that. I took what I was doing on the blog and I brought it over to YouTube in the form of stories, storage auction information, storage auction training. It worked out really well. Now, if I was doing blogs, and let's just go back even further than that. When I started, I had three blogs. Storage auction, well, nah, not sort of see. Business Credit Mentor, PassionateFriday.com, and UrbanPackRat.com which was a storage auction blog. None of them exist anymore. Because once I realized that YouTube, the YouTube channel was killing the blog in terms of traffic, I got rid of it toward the tail end of the storage auction stuff petering out because it didn't really make any sense to have it because I did it wrong. See, this is the beauty. When I start the YouTube channel, I learned the lessons from the blog and I didn't do the same things I did with the blog. And, YouTube is much more malleable. And at the moment, I'm in the middle of another transition on the channel. But with that one topic, you get to know the ins and outs of it. You get to know who all the competitors are. You get to network. You get to make friends. And that can help you once you start pivoting and doing other things. So lock down your first stream of income hard. If you want to do Kindle books, do nothing but Kindle books for a year or two. If you want to do a YouTube channel, kill a YouTube channel hard for a year or two. If you want to do resale, I'm not going to mention names of certain things, kill it hard for a year or two because this is what happens. When you're trying to make money online, you're competing with everything else online. 
you're competing with that flying squirrel video. You're competing with those videos of people popping pimples. You're competing with twerking videos. Anything that takes the attention of anyone who might like what you have to offer, that's your competition. So if you're over here diffused, you're doing this, you're doing this, you've got all the stuff that's going on, you really are not powering up and it's gonna be hard for you to get traction. It's gonna be very hard for you to get traction. Now, once you have your stream of income, what you should do is try to pivot in the strength of your online stream of income. This is why I say do one thing for a year or two because you'll know about the auxiliary or accessory streams of income, all right? Let's say, let's take Kindle Books. You write a book on dog training. You'll write a book on dog training, right? The, and then you do a course on dog training. Okay, you've got your Kindle book on Amazon making money. Then you've got your course somewhere else. And then you have a link in your Kindle book to your course. That's two streams of income. But they're operating from the same infrastructure. That's something I'm really, really big on because I was talking to a client and the mindset was to have this, then go over here and do something radically different. But this first stream of income isn't set up like they want. They're not, they're not where they want to be. So I was like, no, for the next X amount of months, this is all we're doing. We're not doing anything else. If you have an ideal for something, write it in your journal. Put a date on the calendar, put yourself a reminder, and revisit that ideal some point in the future. Because what's going to happen is as you start hustling, putting stuff out, making things happen, all of these ideals will pop up. All of these income ideals will pop up. I get solicitations from networks every day. I get people like, hey, will you do a promoted video every day? And the thing is, if it makes sense, I'll do it. But if it's a departure from what I'm doing, I'm not touching it. And most of it's a departure. Uh, when Audible reached out to me, I took it because it made sense. I've been recommending books for years. I like books. I write books. It's a part of who I am. So it just dovetail and it makes sense. I had an offer this morning. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. I don't even know why they even sent me an email because clearly they didn't watch my channel. And I am just said, hey, thanks, but no thanks. When you operate from a position of strength versus resetting and always relearning, you should learn while you have your strong thing going on. I'll give you an example. I got an Instagram account and I'm slowly building it. One a day here, I'm not doing crazy stuff. I'm not reaching out to people. My goal isn't to try to get my Instagram account as big as possible overnight. My goal is to get my Insta account, Instagram account really big over a period of time because I have a plan for it. I'm laying the seeds right now. About a two-year plan. So I'm not in a rush. While I work on my thing of strength, I work on this other thing, and I probably devote 15, 20 minutes a day to Instagram. That's it. So it's not subtracting my time, energy, and resources to do this thing that clearly is not going to make a lot of money real fast. Can you make money on Instagram? Yes, you can. That's one of the reasons I'm doing it. But it takes time. And it takes traction. And it's about demographics, which is why while you're working on your first stream of income, you should stay there. Knock it down. Learn everything that you can about it. And then once you start making money, and then more importantly, once you start making the money that you want to make, then you jump to something else. But not a minute before. Now, what does this have to do with blogging? It has everything to do with blogging. I have a lot of people who are doing this, 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 this without a core mission and they're wondering why they're not getting any results. So if you like the content of this channel, do me this favor. Go below, as you saw in the promo, and get your free Audible book. And if you're classy, once you get that, if you email us a screenshot or you send us the, afford us the email of your audible confirmation which is free you don't have to pay anything i'll send you one of my ebooks or audio books from my personal bookstore free of charge that's all you have to do so that's below if you like it go ahead and grab those deals and 
I'm going to put a recommendation for a book. There's like three in my head and I'm going to write, get this book if you choose, or you can get uh, one of 180,000 books that they have on the platform. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next episode.